Stephanie, safety inspectors were looking at the ride today as the investigation continues into how this happened. The fair was still crowded tonight with some people deciding to avoid the bigger rides. An amusement ride at the Cornish Fair remained closed Saturday evening, about 24 hours after three people were injured on it. That was scary, and I can see why it's shut down now. Friday night, a 28-year-old woman and her 8-year-old daughter from Canaan were getting on the zipper. The state fire marshal says the ride malfunctioned, causing the mother and daughter to fall about 10 feet. One of them fell on a ride operator from Finelli Amusement Company, a 23-year-old man. The ride moved. They fell out of the car as they were loading into it. All three people were hospitalized, treated for minor injuries, and released. The fire marshal says the ride was registered through his office. When you look at the many thousands of people that come in contact with these amusement rides over the course of the summer, there's very few incidents. The zipper will reopen once safety inspectors decide it's safe. The rest of the fair was open Saturday as people packed in to enjoy other attractions. We just decided when we came that we weren't going to go on the, the bigger rides, just the small kiddie rides, much safer. That's really scary. You never want to see anybody get hurt. And personally, I think that they should be a lot stricter about um, setting the rides up and making sure that they're safe. Something like that happens. They typically go over with the fine tooth comb, so um, I'm sure they'll be real careful about it. The cause of the accident remains under investigation. The fair's management did not respond to requests for an interview. This is an unfortunate incident, but we'll look at it in detail so that we can help uh, prevent these from occurring in the future. It's unclear when the ride will reopen. The Cornish Fair ends tomorrow. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.